Howdy everyone, I'm Yu Feng Quan, a PhD student from RT McFerry Department of Chemical Engineering at Texas A&M University. I'm very excited to have this opportunity to contribute a video as emerging scholars on our recent published letter in ACS Sustainable Chemistry and Engineering. The metal organic frameworks are a new category of hybrid crystalline porous material, which have attracted considerable research in interest over the past decades. The size of more polymer composites has been investigated and considered to be an efficient way to improve the practical utility of powder molds. Moreover, it is recognized that while these products molds within the polymer matrix can have wanted thermal stability, mechanical properties, and flammability behaviors. So it's an advantage strategy to develop more polymer composites for bringing molds closer to practical conditions and strengthening the polymer performance. Currently, most small polymer composites are prepared by a discreetly bottom-up principle. Such processes include several sophisticated reactions, so it requires tedious time, solvent, and energy. This is very challenging for efficiently and sustainably manufacturing of small polymer composites at an industrial scale. So in this work, with the aim of advancing the scannable application of MOVs and improving the properties of polymer matrix, the more synthesis and the subsequent composites blending were combined into one sustainable and efficient style via reactive extrusion. Compared with the conventional hydrothermal synthesized route, we can efficiently achieve production capacity from around 30 grams per day to 10 kilograms per day, and the composites are steady state by neglecting several reaction steps. The space time yield is another engineering parameter for process production efficiency and profit evaluation industry. Here we compare the space time yield between our method with the report industrial BAS production and lab scale hydrothermal method. The space time yield value manufactured by our continuous reactive resolution is several orders of magnitude higher than that solvent thermal method. To investigate the feasibility of this one step reactive extrusion method, two types of widely used polymer matrix, the polypropylene and polystyrene, are chosen to manufacture different price stable MOFs and composites by a parallel twin screw extruder. These, specifically the ZIF8 and ZIF57, are chosen as examples for this process. The powder XRD patterns of all four composites are consistent with their corresponding components stressing the feasibility of this one-step reactive extrusion without any undefeasible impurities. To investigate the effects of change degradation processes on flammability behaviors, a two-stage combustion scanner reel is simulated in the paralysis combustion flow chronometry. Compared with the need part profit and posterity, a lower peak history rate and total history rate are observed with the addition of different zips in the matrix which will reduce the flammability of polymers and broaden their practical engineering application. The risk elastic and tensile behaviors of each polymer and the zip aid polymer and the components were also discussed. Compared with the need polystyrene, the incorporation of zip aid and the composite and the particles slightly increased the glass transition temperature and significantly improved the storage models about the glass transition temperature which shows that while well, this process aid has a strong confinement influence on the chain mobility. Typically, porous filters usually decrease the mechanical properties of polymer matrix. However, the mechanical strength of ZIF-8 polystyrene nanocomposites is not compromised due to the excellent rigidity of ZIF-8. Lastly, we investigate the performance efficiency of single-size ZIF-57 polymer nanocomposites film on TMS activation for MD degradation. Compared with the TMS, the Z57 polypropylene films exhibit an extraordinary degradation efficiency and recycle stability with a final concentration as low as 4% in 25 minutes. So in conclusion, in this work, a sustainable, solvent-free, and one-step strategy for more polymer nanocomposites manufacturer is proposed with a notebook throughput rate and a space time yield. The improvements on the mechanical properties, thermal stability, and the flammability behaviors are well investigated. 
In the future, we will expand our strategy to manufacture scannable components in other assets areas, such as uh, carbon capture, waste water, and fire retardancy. At last, thanks for your listening and interest to our work.